Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the HD 401 MV 4x1 HDMI Quad Multiviewer. This product was engineered to make it really easy for you to simultaneously display up to four different HDMI media sources on a single monitor. The product also features five different modes you can choose from for how those sources are displayed. Also included is an audio extraction capability that will strip the audio from the selected source and allow you to send that to a soundbar or a surround sound system for the ultimate theater experience. Finally, the product provides both VGA and HDMI output so you can run two monitors simultaneously. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included, and then I'll list the audio and video standards the product can support. I'll take a closer look at all the components and explain exactly what they do, and then I'll come back and install the unit here so you see just how easy it is to use with your own equipment at home. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open up the box, you'll find the unit, a full instruction manual that lists all the information you'll need to install this with your equipment, specifications, connection diagrams, and explanations of what the indicators and buttons do in the unit. Also included is a mounting bracket. You can use this to mount this unit up off the floor and get it out of the way. And then finally, a single power supply. You'll plug this end into the wall. This end has a barrel connection on it. You'll plug it in the back of the unit and then finger tighten this collar. And that's all the power you'll need to run the unit. Now, if you stay tuned, I'll list the specifications next and then we'll take a closer look at all the components. The product features both HDMI 1.4 and HDCP 1.4 compliance. It provides both HDMI and VGA outputs, as well as easy input and output resolution adjustments. There are five output display modes available, and selections can be made from the front panel controls or the included remote control. The O-Ray HD 401 MV can be used with most modern media products, including streaming media devices, DVD players, game consoles, cable boxes, and home surveillance systems. Inside the kit, you'll find the HD 401 MV module, a printed user manual that gives you all the information you'll need to understand what the product provides, including specifications, connection diagrams, and information about what the buttons do and what the indicators mean. You'll also find a power supply. This is a standard 12 volt power supply. This end plugs into the wall. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the unit with a locking collar that you can finger tighten to make sure that that plug stays fully inserted in the unit. Also included is a bracketing kit. This allows you to mount this unit up off the ground and out of the way. These brackets attach on either side and there are screws inside to attach the brackets to the unit. And then finally, an infrared remote control that allows you to make whatever selections you need to from a distance, including the mode you're selecting for the output monitor, as well as the source you're selecting and control over the audio. You can also turn the unit on and off with the remote, which is really nice. Now we'll take a closer look at the module. The product features a full metal enclosure, which makes it very durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any problems with the sensitive electronics inside. On either end of the module, you'll see ventilation holes, and that's to keep those electronics at a comfortable temperature. On the front of the module, on the left-hand side is a power indicator. When you apply power to the unit and turn it on, that will light up. To the right of that is the infrared remote window. So when you're using the remote control, you'll want to point it at that. There's circuitry behind it that'll receive those infrared commands and control the unit. To the right of that are four channel selectors, and that works in conjunction with the mode button. The mode button allows you to display five different styles of how those screens are shown on that output. And depending on how you have the mode setting, you can choose which of the channels is displayed in a larger frame. And I'll show you that when we do the demo. To the right of that is a resolution button, and by tapping that, you'll cycle through various resolutions for the output monitor to find the one that fits perfectly. To the right of that is a service port. That's normally not used, but if firmware needs to be updated on the unit, you'll connect that up. It's a micro USB port with a short cable to your computer. You can push firmware to the unit to do the update. Nothing on the bottom. On the sides of the unit are the holes where you can actually mount those brackets I mentioned in the earlier portion. And then on the rear of the units where you make all your connections. There are four input connections here, all standard HDMI. You'll connect your input sources to these four ports right here. This is for an output monitor. It's an HDMI connection. To the right of that is a VGA connection as well. So you can actually connect up an HDMI monitor as well as a VGA monitor and display that output to both of those at the same time. Here's the audio output port. It's an analog left and right port, three and a half millimeter. You can connect it up to a stereo system for that full theater experience. And to the right of that is the DC 12 volt input. And that's used with the power supply that's included. You'll plug the barrel connector in and again, finger tight that collar to make sure that it stays in there nice and secure. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment at home. 
For this demonstration, I have three media players here, each of which is displaying a different image, and I have a laptop set up down here. Those are my four input devices. Over here I have a monitor, that's my output device, and it's where I'll display those four media sources and show you how you can step through the different modes on how they're displayed on the screen. Now the first connections I'll make are the four input devices, and I've already connected up HDMI cables to them, and I'll connect these to the back of the unit on input number one, input number two, input number three, and finally input number four. Now I'll connect up the monitor. I've got an HDMI cable connected to it, and that gets connected to the output on the back of the unit. And you'll notice there's an HDMI connection and a VGA connection as well. So you can actually use an older monitor, or you can use one of the newer ones with an HDMI connection, or you can connect up two monitors at the same time to display those images. Now we're all set and ready for power. So I've got the power supply plugged in, single barrel connection, plugs right into the back of the unit. Then you can finger tighten the collar and make sure it doesn't pop out. Now the minute I add power to the unit, it starts a self-test. So it goes through a power on self-test to check all the internal electronics to make sure they're working okay. It's also checking the resolution of all my input sources and checking the resolution of what the monitor can display. And it's making whatever adjustments are necessary to give you the best possible picture. And now you can see we've got four different input sources shown on the screen. Now a couple of things you can do here, I'll start with the mode switch. So right now I've got them set up in sort of a two by two pattern. If I tap the mode switch, it now has two in the middle and two on either side. I tap it again, I can show two images and the other two aren't being shown. If I tap it one more time, it'll put one up large and three smaller along the side. So I'll go back to the quad. I can also show just a single image. When I go back to the quad, you also have control over what's shown in each of these quadrants. So I can actually have the same image in more than one quadrant if I want to, and you control that with these buttons right here. So that's quadrant number one. You can see that I can switch through the four inputs and decide what I'm going to show there. I'll leave it on game console. Now I'll switch input number two. There you go. So quadrant number two can be changed. So you have a lot of control over not only how those inputs are displayed on the screen, but what input is displayed in which of the squares on the screen. So it gives you a lot of control over the input versus the output. And it really is just an easy product to use to install, to be able to view four different media sources at the same time on a single monitor. And you saw the connections I made. It's a very simple product to install. I hope you found this overview of the HD401MV helpful. It really does provide a very simple way of combining the output from up to four different HDMI media sources onto a single monitor. And the fact that it provides audio extraction capabilities allows you to take the audio from the selected stream and send that to an audio system for that full theater experience. And finally, it provides both HDMI and VGA output, so you can run two monitors on it simultaneously. Now, everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.